In this video, we're gonna paint a storm shield. We're gonna start with Army Painter Matte Black so that when I mess up, my touch-ups don't look splotchy and the finish of the black is consistent across all of my Death Watch. For the Silver Metallics, we're gonna use Army Painter Shining Silver. We're gonna go with the skull on this one as silver, I'm trying to shake up my storm shields a little bit. And we're gonna do the line of trim and the little ornamental rivet thingies. undercoat the laurel with morphine brown as well as the scroll bit and that is why we base coated the whole thing with the army painter I'll be doing two coats or at least two coats on all of these different colors. Not the undercoat, but all the uh, metallics and uh, yeah, definitely two coats. All right, beaten copper, we're gonna do the laurel here. And uh, I've been doing a lot of silver and gold on these and I just wanna vary the metallics a little bit. When I come back later, this particular Death Watch Vanguard veteran, his helmet's got a laurel on too, and we'll do that same laurel in the beaten copper to have uh, some harmony in that particular model and some unique features. Bone white is my preferred off-white. We're gonna use this for the scroll. Gonna use Nuln Oil to do a shade on the skull. We're just gonna do the lower portions and maybe over the eye ridge. We're not gonna go over the dome because that's a flat surface and it wouldn't help. We're gonna use a flush wash over the laurel. We're gonna do an edge highlight on the shield with Dawnstone. We're gonna do both outside of the metallic trim and we're gonna do inside of the metallic trim. The outside is easier. I can actually work along the edge. The inside, I am freehand tracing along the edge. I'm getting better at it. Uh, the trick is, again, always to make sure that when you're doing your downward motion, you're doing down with your wrist. It's much easier to draw straight lines when you're pulling down with your wrist than when you're trying to make your wrist go sideways. Our silver highlight will be Stormhouse Silver. Gonna do the top of the dome, eye ridges, and gonna hit the corner bits at the top of the shield, and then also try to hit all those ornamental rivets. To highlight the copper, I'm gonna take my burnished gold and mix it into the beaten copper on my wet palette. And I'm just gonna to try to not hit the entire portion of each leaf and stay out of the recesses. I'm going to do an extreme edge highlight of uh, wolf gray and I'm just gonna hit these top four corner bits. Going to try to do a dot of burnished gold at the tip of each leaf in the laurel. And to wrap up the storm shield, I'm just gonna take a little sepia shade and do a little bit of shading on the scroll, just trying to get the bottom 
and you know have it not stick out too much but give it a little bit of a gradient and that is the basics of a storm shield they all look very different but they all have enough similar features that um, you know doing one you pretty much can do all of them that is how I hobbied lately if you'd let me know how you've been hobbying lately down in the comments I would love to check it out <laughs>